hello everyone in this video i am going to demonstrate how to delineate river catchment area otherwise called as drainage basin using qgi software very often catchment delineations are required for several hydrological analysis qgi software offers a lot of flexible tools in order to derive these products in this exercise starting with a dem we are going to extract a channel network delineate watersheds and then calculate some statistics we can summarize the steps for this exercise as follows first one pre-processing of dem which includes merging reprojecting subsetting and filling the voids second one derived stream network according to Stahler stream ordering and then we define the outlet and delineate watersheds and the final step is the vectorization here I have the pre-processed what field DEM we can also add open street map for a reference I am using the word field DEM of southern India our next objective is to derive the stream network according to the Strahler stream ordering according to this ordering each segment of a stream or river network is treated as a node in a tree with the next segment downstream as its parent when two first order streams come together they form a second order stream similarly when two second order streams come together they form a third order stream streams of lower order joining a higher order stream do not change the order of the higher stream that is if a first order stream joins a second order stream it remains a second order stream in order to derive the stream network search Strahler order in the toolbar which comes under the terrain analysis in the Saga plugin here we use the void field DEM as the input in elevation after running the algorithm we get the stream network like this in which the Strahler order ranges up to ninth order using the tool called the identify features we can simply click over the resulting raster image to get the corresponding stream order otherwise we can visualize the image using appropriate symbology Now we can see that as a whole this includes an entire network of rivers ranging from numerous minor streams to larger streams. Now we need to isolate only the larger rivers. For this open raster calculator and assign the Strahler order to be larger than a certain threshold value. Here I am going to use a threshold value of 4. At the same time we can see that the values are defined by just two numbers 0 and 1 in which 1 refers to the stream in which the pixels represented by 1 refers to the streams. We can also visualize this image by using suitable symbology.
Now I am going to visualize the pixels represented by 0 as transparent. For this click on transparency and in the additional no data value select 0. Now we can see that it more or less follows the original river as you can see from the base map. The DEM that we used here is somewhat less accurate and its accuracy depends on the resolution of the data. However, in the highland regions, the stream network is more accurate compared to that of lowlands. Our next step is to export the stream network as a vector file. For this, we can use the tool called Channel Network and Drainage Basins, which comes under the Terrain Analysis tool in the Saga plugin. Here we have to provide some data such as elevation, threshold etc. In elevation we provide the field DEM and in the threshold we use the same threshold value that we used to isolate the mainstream. Here in this case it is 4. After running this program, we can use suitable visualizations. Our next objective is to define the outlet point. Normally, when delineating catchments, the closing points are not. For example, we have a sampling point or discharge point or a hydrological station. And then we want to define the area drainaging to that point. Now let's fix the outlet point to be over this area. For this we have to create a new shape file defining a point feature. The purpose of creating a new shape file is that we need to extract the coordinate points at that outlet point in order to define the catchment draining to that point. Now we can add the xy coordinates of the outlet points in its attribute table. For this open field calculator and create a new field. Then select an output field name and type. And from geometry choose the dollar $x symbol which gives the x coordinate for that point feature. Now we have the x coordinate for that point. Similarly, we can add y coordinates to that point. Next to derive the catchment area, we can go to the tool called upslope area which also comes under the terrain analysis toolbox of Saga. Here we need to copy paste the xy coordinates from the attribute table of the outlet point and for elevation we have to select the field DEM.
After running, we get the catchment area which is created by the river network over this particular area and which drains to the outlet point that we specified before. The resulting data will still be a raster file and now we have to convert it to a polygon. For this, go to raster, then conversion and select polygonize that is raster to vector. From the resulting vector file, we can delete the outside area of the polygon from the attribute table and then make it hollow. Now we are going to clip the river network by the corresponding boundary of the catchment area using polygon clipping tool. Now our data is ready. Using these shape files, we can simply calculate catchment area, perimeter and other morphometric data for drainage analysis such as drainage density, bifurcation ratios etc.